Hello and welcome back to this section on decision tree. In this section, we are going to develop decision tree model with R, followed by visualization of decision trees. And we end this section with prediction and misclassification error calculations. So let's uh, get started with decision tree with R. In this video, we are going to take a look at iris data that we have been using in the past two. We are going to carry out data partitioning of this data into training and testing data sets. We are going to use training data for developing the decision tree model. So as you know, iris data is already available within R. So we just need to type data and iris and this data will be available to us. If you want to look at structure of this data, you can do str for structure and iris. So it is a data frame with 150 observations and there are five variables in all. Out of five variables, first four variables you can see are numeric and the last one which is species is a factor or categorical variable which has three levels. We can also do summary of this data. So it does the calculations for minimum, first quartile, median, mean, third quartile and maximum values for numeric variables and for categorical variable or factor variable in this case species it tells us that each species has 50 observations. So 150 observations are split equally between the three variables. So 150 observations are split equally among these three species as you can see here. So let's partition this data. And I'm going to use set dot seed function 555 so that when you carry out this analysis, you are able to get exactly same samples in the training and testing data set. So let's store independent samples in IND. So we'll take a sample of size 2. And we are saying that, so let me put this in the next row. To make it look cleaner and this sampling is with replacement so we will say true and then we specify probability so let's go for 80 percent for the training data and 20 percent for the testing data so let's call training data as train within the independent samples when the values are one so that we are going to use for the first one, which is training data. And for test, we are going to say IND is 2. So our training data has 118 observations and test data has 32 observations. So when we say 80-20, you may not get exactly 80%, but this number will be very close to 80% and this number will be very close to 20%. Now to make a decision tree model, I am going to use a package called party. So party stands for partitioning because the way decision tree model is made, we continually partition the data set into two parts. So let's run this line. And if you do not have this package, you'll have to install it. So once you have this package, you can make use of C tree. C stands for classification. And you can see the description here. We do recursive partitioning and it can be done for continuous, censored, ordered, nominal and multivariate response variables. So it's very flexible. So what we are going to do is we are going to use species variable as dependent variable because this is what we want to predict and this is the function of all other variables so I am going to put dot and our data is train data and let's store the output in tree. So as soon as you run this you can see the model has been built. If you want to look at the model you can say print. 
so this is what you get so this is a conditional inference tree with four terminal nodes response variable is species so this is the dependent variable and inputs or independent variables are four so sepal length sepal width petal length petal width and in our training data we had 118 observations so that's what is listed here and then it also says that overall we have seven nodes in the tree so this tree is not very huge because we have very few variables here but if we have many variables like in our case we have only four input variables but there could be data set where you have maybe 50 variables or 60 variables so that tree is likely to have many more nodes than what we have here 